This video is brought to you by Stereo Exchange, New York's finest audio retailer. So Ken, what's a receiver, what's an amplifier, and what's the difference between the two? Oh, that's a good question. Well, this is a receiver. This one is an older model, it's made by Integra. And let's define what a receiver is. A receiver is three things in one. First off, we have the radio. So with this, we can press FM. We can tune up and down the dial. This is set to 87.5. The radio is built in. So that's part one. The second part of a receiver is the preamp section. We'll talk about more, that, more about that specifically later, but the preamp section determines the flexibility, how many things can be connected or as I like to call it, the gazintas and the gozoutas. So on this one, we can plug in a DVD player and a VCR and a couple more video sources and a tape deck and radio and a turntable and a CD player. That's enough for a lot of people. If you also want to plug in a streamer and other sources, you might run out on this, but this has enough for the average person. On the back, here are all our inputs. This is where we plug everything in. The part of this that controls the flexibility, how many things can be connected, is called the preamp section. So that's the first two parts of a receiver. The radio gives us our AM, FM, and the preamp section that determines how many things can be hooked up. The third section of a receiver is the amplifier section. Once we see speaker terminals, we know there's an amplifier built in, and the amplifier determines how loud and clean the system can play. If you're in a large room, you need more power. If you're in a small room, you might need less power. Some speakers are very power hungry. Some speakers need less power. At some point on the volume, every receiver runs out of power, and if you go any higher, you get distortion. Higher power means you can play louder before you get distortion. So those are the three parts of a receiver. Let me just review that again. So a receiver is, the, is when we have the AM FM tuner built in, the preamp is built in, which is the flexibility, how many things we can plug into it, and the amplifier is built in, which determines how loud it can play before you get distortion. A lot of people don't listen to the radio. If they don't listen to the radio, they don't need to buy a receiver. That person buys an integrated amplifier. An integrated amplifier is the preamplifier and the amplifier built into one, but without the radio. There are advantages and disadvantages of buying separate pieces versus an all-in-one receiver. We'll talk about that in another video.